Hi everybody, today we're seeing the FTSE 100 continue to tank as it's been doing over the last few sessions. It's now dropped below the 6,000 mark, a crucial level, 5,996. That's almost 1% today. Well, I expect we're going to see more of this, at least until after next week's EU referendum. Blimey, it's getting close. Now, my big boss spotlight today is Andy Clark. He's the chief over at Asda in the UK. Well, he's been replaced after six years in the top job as the company struggles to grow in the very tough UK supermarket sector. Now, taking over is Sean Clark, no relative to Andy as far as I know. Uh, he currently works for Asda in China. Well, actually, as does owner, Walmart. Now, I do feel for Andy Clark, though, because it's a tough gig when all your efforts don't pay off, and he made a big effort to keep Asda up there. Perhaps, though, he should have focused more on upping the quality of the online brand, that's George, rather than competing with the discounters. I'm a big fan of Asda's online George brand, especially the home product. Shh, don't tell anyone. Now, my stock in focus today, different company altogether, Ashtead Group. What do they do? Well, they rent industrial equipment to major construction projects, as well as provide equipment for offices and retailers. Everything from JCB diggers to scaffolding, lighting to air conditioning systems. It's also one of the biggest companies in the UK. It's in the FTSE 100. Now, it's reported its full year results today, with pre-tax profits up 24% to $645 million. Now, people who already own the shares are in line for a bonus because the dividend per share this year for the full year comes to 22.5 pence. That's a whopping 48% increase over the dividend for last year. The shares are at nine, well, we're at £9.55 this morning, some way off their highs of £11.28 seen in January, and they're up 1% today to £9.66. So it's going on my list of stocks to watch. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe, share and follow. If you have any investor questions, do get in touch, although I can't give any specific investment advice.